Good morning, children. Children, as in the last video, we have already done a brief introduction of the poem, How the Leaves Came Down by Susan Coleridge. Today, in this video, we are going to understand the explanation of the poem line by line. So let us start with reading the first stanza. I'll tell you how the leaves came down. The great tree to his children said, you're getting sleepy, yellow and brown. Yes, very sleepy, little red. It is quite time to go to bed. Now in this stanza, what the poet is trying to tell is that she wants to tell us how the leaves came down, how the leaves actually fell off the tree. She has treated the tree as the father and the leaves as his children. So what happens, the father tree tells his children that you all are looking very sleepy. You all are looking tired, yellow and brown. Yes, very sleepy, little red. Now yellow and brown and red, these are the names of the leaves. All these leaves, they are looking very sleepy and the father tree asked them to go to bed. Yellow, brown and red. Now what, when we say yellow, brown and red, what does the father tree mean? It means when the leaves become dry, their color starts turning into yellowish and then it becomes brown and then finally red when the leaves are completely dry. And when the leaves turn red, they fall off from the tree. Now, what do the leaves, the children, have to say in reply? Ah, pecked each silly pouting leaf. Let us a little longer stay. Dear father tree, behold our grief. It's such a very pleasant day. We do not want to go away. Now the leaves, as the poet has already explained that the leaves are like little children. So they are not willing to go away. They still want to stay a little longer. They don't want to go away and sleep and go to bed. So what do they do? They request, they request the father tree to let them stay a little longer. Ah, begged each silly pouting leaf. Now, begged means constantly requesting. They were requesting father tree. Pouting, pouting means when children show their displeasure by making a face like this. So the leaves were not happy with the idea of going to bed early and then falling asleep. So what do they do? What did they do? They showed their displeasure by pouting, by making a face like this. Let us a little longer stay, dear father, behold our grief. So they persuade their father to let them stay for some more time. And they told their father that, please behold our grief. Behold means to observe, to look at their grief. Grief means pain that they were in such pain, they were in such sorrow, they asked their father to just have a look and observe their grief, their pain. It's such a very pleasant day. Now here children, T-I-S, it is used for it's. It's such a very pleasant day. The children said that father, look at the day. The day looks so fine, it looks so pleasant and enjoyable. We can't go to sleep on a day like this. We want to stay a little longer. We want to stay for some more time. Let us look at the word meanings. Begged means to request. The leaves were constantly requesting their father. Pouting, as I've already told you, pouting is to make a face which shows your displeasure. Behold is to observe. They asked the father to observe, to have a look at their grief. Grief means pain and sorrow. 
T-I-S, this in the poem is used for its. Pleasant, pleasant means enjoyable. The day was a pleasant day. It means it was quite enjoyable day. So for just one more merry day to the great tree, the leaflets clung. So what happened, the leaves, the leaflets, okay, they wanted to clung for one more merry day, okay. Merry means one fine day, a day which is full of excitement and happiness, that is merry. So for just one more merry day, one more happy day, the leaflets, the leaves, they clung to the tree, they stick to the tree, they did not fall off the tree. They were still sticking to it. So they stick to the tree for one more happy day. Frolicked and danced and had their way. Frolicked means to move around in an enjoyable, happy manner. So the leaves, they frolicked and danced. They moved around, they played around and danced as they were very happy and had their way. Had their way means to enjoy the way they want. Upon the autumn breezes swung, whispering all their sports among. So what happened upon the autumn breezes? Now the poet is talking about the autumn season here. Autumn is the season when the leaves, they become completely dry, they become dry and they fall off the trees. So the, as the leaves were playing around and dancing, and enjoying themselves in such a happy mood, what happened, the autumn breeze, the autumn breeze started swaying, the autumn breeze, they started blowing and whispering all their sports among. So merry, merry means happy and cheerful, clung means to hang or stick the leaves, they were sticking to the father tree, frolicked, as I've already told you, it is to move and play around in a lively and happy way. The leaves, they frolic, they moved and played around in a happy way. Swung is to move back and forth, that is to sway. Move back and forth means you must have noticed that as the wind blows, the trees, they move, they sway around, they sway with the wind. So that is swung here. Perhaps the great tree will forget and let us stay until the spring. Now what happens, the leaves, okay, as they are a bit children like, what do they imagine? What do they think? They think that maybe, perhaps, maybe the great tree will forget this, okay? Maybe the great tree will forget to make, to make them go to bed, okay? And he may let us stay until the spring, okay? So they thought that maybe the father tree, he will forget and he will allow them to stay until the spring, until the spring comes for the next season. Now, if we all beg and coax and fret, if we all beg and coax and fret, <clears throat> beg and coax and fret, here it means, coax means to persuade, to sweet talk. Okay, when you talk very sweetly to somebody to make a request or you persuade them, okay, you make them offer you a favor or uh, you make them allow you to do something which you really want to do, that is called persuading and sweeter. Fret means to worry and to trouble. Okay, so what did the leaves? Say they said that if we beg, if we make a request, and if we coax if we fret okay so if we talk to him sweetly nicely if we trouble him if we show tantrums that may then maybe what will happen the tree may allow them to stay with him for a little more time but what happened there was no result of all these things on the tree there was no impact of all the begging and coaxing on the tree but the great tree did no such thing, okay? The great tree, he was not persuaded by the request constantly made by the lips, okay? He smiled to hear their whispering. What he did? 
he smiled okay he smiled to hear the whispering while the leaves were discussing among themselves the great tree he overheard their conversation and he smiled to hear the whispering come children all to bed he cried what did the father tree he said he asked the children to come again and go to bed and earth the leaves could urge their prayers children uh, means before okay so before the leaves could actually urge their prayer could actually convey their prayer to the father your prayer means to request okay to make actually they before he, they could actually request the father tree what happened the father tree he shook his head and far and wide he shook his head okay in a vigorous manner he shook his head and far and wide what happened as he shook his head all the trees they went fluttering and rustling everywhere fluttering means when uh, the leaves okay they moved in a very you okay, they moved around they fall off the tree and they went everywhere they were spread everywhere and rustling rustling is a sound which is made by dry leaves as you might have seen if you try to uh, touch when we touch or when we try to hold a dry leaf the kind of sound it makes that is called rustling so fluttering and rustling flying everywhere and rustling making that rustling sound everywhere the leaves were spread all around the tree down sped the leaflets through the air <clears throat> so the leaves the leaflets they fall off the tree and they were lying around the tree flying around through the air i saw them on the ground they lay golden in red a huddled swarm waiting till one from far away white bed clothes heaped upon her arm should come to wrap them safe and warm so what happened when the tree shook his head and the leaves finally fell off the tree the poet is say that she saw them the, she saw the leaves she saw them on the ground they lay they were all lying on the ground one fine morning golden and red the color was it looked beautiful golden and red a huddled swarm waiting till one from far away waiting the leaves were lying they were sleeping and they were lying under the tree and waiting till someone okay somebody from far away will come okay and with white with white bed clothes heaped upon her arm carrying white bed clothes okay now white bed clothes here it means that when we sleep okay most when we sleep what we do we cover ourselves with a piece of cloth right you can cover yourself with bed clothes so similarly what happens the leaves were lying under the tree they they have already gone to sleep and they were waiting for somebody to come and cover them with white bed clothes okay and these white bed clothes are okay are wrapped up in the in in the in her arm now we're here someone from far away is the snow but next is it here the poet is is referring to the winter season so when the winter season comes there is snowfall okay and when the snow starts falling what happen it is going to cover all the leaves under it beneath it so here one from far away is the when is is the winter season coming with and coming and bringing snow with it so who is going to wrap them safe and warm it is the snow fall it is the snow which will wrap the leaves safe and warm now once the leaves okay all the leaves have fallen off the tree how does the tree look the great bear tree looked down and smiled so the great bear tree bear here it means 
something which is uncovered, unclothed, not wearing any clothes, not covering itself. So here the tree, once all the leaves had fallen off, what happened? It looked completely bare. It looked uncovered. And the leaf and the tree, it smiled looking at his children sleeping peacefully. Good night, dear little leaves, he said. So once he saw that the leaves are finally going to sleep, he said good night. And from below each sleepy child reply. And what happens in reply, the little leaves, okay, the children, as they were already feeling very sleepy, what do they say? Good night and murmured. Murmured means in a very low and soft voice. What did they reply? They replied, good night. It is so nice to go to bed. Finally, they realized that it was a very good thing to go to sleep and go to bed. So children, I hope the explanation of the poem is clear to all of you. This is all in this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you all.